The Clean Energy Technology Leadership Act is proposed to Congress. The Navy invests in Hawaiian sugarcane. And who's trying to make a vehicle that can go 50 miles to the gallon? This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to your Daily Energy Report for Monday, August the 9th. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Leading off, U.S. Senator from Massachusetts John Kerry has introduced legislation that will increase clean energy production and technology across the country. Called the Clean Energy Technology Leadership Act of 2010, the proposed bill will offer incentives to companies who are manufacturers of clean and renewable energy and conservation technologies. Highlights of the bill include the extension of the tax credit for biodiesel and renewable diesel, retroactive for 2010 and through 2012, as well as a proposed allotment of $3.5 billion for clean renewable energy bonds. This bill is seen as another positive step towards lowering the country's reliance on energy sources from foreign countries. Staying on the topic of government initiatives, the Navy will be investing $10 million over the next five years to research the commercial viability of converting Maui sugarcane into biofuel that could be used by fighter jets and boats. The first contract has been given to a 130-year-old Hawaiian-based sugar company called Hawaiian Commercial and Sugar which is the largest sugar plantation in the state with over 35,000 acres. The Navy is trying to have biofuels account for more than 50% of its fuel demand by 2020. And to meet this goal, it's been pouring money into algae, sugar, and other crops that could become alternatives to fossil fuels. And finally, Hyundai Motor America has announced a new plan to achieve a corporate average fuel economy rating of at least 50 miles per gallon by 2025 for all of its passenger cars and light duty trucks. The current National Highway Traffic Safety Administration regulations require automakers to achieve a CAF rating of 35.5 miles per gallon by 2016. But according to an EPA report, Hyundai's cars and trucks get the highest mile per gallon already. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.